A strawberry milkshake sounds amazing. However, the ones you can buy are a bit high in carbs. Therefore, he will make his own with frozen strawberries. So, let's begin. Using a large knife, he slices off the tops of the strawberries. Quick and efficient, but leaves too much to be thrown away. Using a paring knife, he uses his thumb to guide the knife as he turns the strawberry. This destems the fruit perfectly every time. It works on small strawberries and also large nuclear waste ones. Using a sturdy straw such as this adamantium one, he pushes it from the bottom of the strawberry and out the stem. When it works, it works impressively well. However, most of the time, you end up turning the strawberry into Swiss cheese and potentially stabbing yourself. This method is best reserved for kitchen hack videos. Method 4 simply cuts the strawberries in half. For a 3 Michelin star shake, you should remove all the seeds from the strawberries. Tedious, but worthwhile. Next, he rough chops the strawberries. Thus, when they are frozen, they become more manageable and also take up less space, which is why he places them into an abnormally large container. This very container then goes into the cryo chamber for at least two hours. If you lack the foresight to freeze your strawberries, skip ahead to step three. He removes the strawberries from the cryogenic chamber. If you did not freeze fresh strawberries, you can use frozen strawberries from the local grocer. After a few hours, these little red fruits have become frozen solid. Absolutely no aid can come from a spoon nor an ice pick. He has no choice in the matter, as decreed by Elsa, so he sets them aside for defrostation. In the meantime, he adds heavy cream and sweetener to a cup and whippinates it to create whipped cream. We have finally arrived at shake time. He needs about 6 ounces of unsweetened almond milk, just about 170 milliliters. But in his excitement, he goes past the marker. Also, he can't convert. He sets it aside and using a blender cup or a blender, he places it on his scale. To this, he adds his strawberries, which are still frozen. For each serving of the shake, he needs about 5.5 ounces, or 150 grams. Then comes the milk of almonds. As he pours it in, he should have stopped here. But the loss, he continues with the white waterfall. Next, he adds a scoop of unflavored protein isolate. 4 tablespoons of erythritol, a pinch of salt, 5 tablespoons of heavy cream, yes, 5, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then he reaches for the Mad Max cup, and for once in his life he manages not to cross-thread it as he screws it on. But this can only mean one thing. Once blended, the delivery vessel is prepared, and... Unfortunately, the shake melted as he filmed. So, he cleans. Because... Ants. Upon remaking the shake, we can bask in all its glory. Thick, creamy, and packed with the flavor of strawberries. He tops it with it with cream, and places the all-important cherry on top. And that is how you make a perfect low-carb strawberry milkshake. If you like strawberry milkshakes or know someone who does, make sure to share this video. And if you believe low-carb food should be delicious, subscribe. Until next time, eat well.